Hello. Hi again, Hi. Arushi. Yes. Hi. So how are you now? <laughs> great, great. Super. Actually, I have a question running in my mind that mm -hmm. is um, when I'm having a conversation with someone, my conversation somehow turned into arguments. Oh, so, is it? <laughs> yeah. How does that I'm, happen? <laughs> I don't know, especially with the opposite gender. With the opposite I'm, gender. Uh -huh. I, sometimes, like, I made up my mind when I start a conversation, like, today I'm not going to okay. uh, have an argument with, with this person and uh, I will be like, nice, okay. I'll be mm -hmm. understanding. And, mm -hmm. uh, but, no. <laughs> so, it is a... It, is it a fault of my nature or, or something I can improve in my conversation? Or do you have any idea according to your like experience or something? I think whenever you come across this where conversations tend to turn into arguments, it's usually because of maybe some anger issues either from your side or from the other person's side. That's what I've uh, what I've noticed <laughs> whenever a conversation turns into an argument it can be a lot of there can be other reasons as well maybe the communication was not very effective maybe that is there maybe some kind of like i said anger issues or some kind of suppressed emotions also they come out when you're conversing so all these kinds of emotions yeah so it that's not it's not with a single person like it, it, it happens normally with, ev with everyone no, no, not with everyone <laughs> but um, but with few people yeah even if yeah. my like whether they are friends or mm -hmm. my cousins so oh, okay yeah. maybe in that case if it's not with someone you're close with maybe you don't have emotional attachment with that person i think the main problem would be ineffective mm -hmm. communication Perhaps the way you communicated or the way the other person communicated, the intended message did not get across. So there was some misunderstanding there. So maybe that can also be a reason. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> I also thought about it a lot and figured out mm -hmm. that somehow, uh, like, it may be my conversation is not that good or I'm not able to communicate my message to the other person that, yeah that in, can be one in a calm way or maybe in a good the way. tone huh? maybe the yeah. tone you're using and the <laughs> other thing what i have observed is people around me mm -hmm. don't like my opinionated nature like oh, i am they think much. you're opinionated okay <laughs> yeah i i have um uh, points on everything like i can speak on everything even if i have oh. not, I'm like no no this might be like so maybe that is the reason well one thing is uh, i think good job for you the way you understand yourself you know let's say you know where you're making your errors and <laughs> but yes where that... i also wanted to know if there is anything which i'm not able to catch or there can be any other aspects about this particular thing like your conversations turns out to be arguments mm -hmm. so. i think for mainly i think those are the reasons communication maybe you have to work on communication uh, communication skills maybe yeah. the way you can uh, turn don't or at least don't turn your conversations into arguments is maybe work on communication skills be very clear on what you're saying be very concise something like that be mindful of your non-verbal <laughs> communication also because your facial expression your gestures your body language all of this will impact your communication right so it's not just the words that you're saying so just okay. keep that in mind also okay uh mm -hmm. maybe in that way maybe that will help the tone is very important so some the way the tone we are using uh it it really um what can I say? It has a huge impact on the message that we're sending also. So what tone are you using when you're saying something? Is it Does it sound like an angry tone? <laughs> or, yeah. Have, have you heard of uh, active listening? 
maybe that yes yeah so active listening is also something that you could do these are i would say tips when it comes to com- improving your communication skills because the reason i think why uh, conversations turned into uh, arguments is because you need to work on this maybe communication skills okay or read up more on emotional intelligence that's also another thing have have you come across okay. this yes a lot <laughs> yeah and uh, i am still not able to like uh, yes got the idea of what is emotional intelligence and like i know because <laughs> i was like um i was very bad in this and uh, <laughs> i have research a lot like why i get emotional on why i get uh-huh. emotional on every topics or every uh-huh. so i got to know about this emotional intelligence thing mm-hmm. and then i research a lot about how to be emotionally intelligent uh-huh. i read a lot i can okay. try but i think still i am not <laughs> maybe i have uh, become a uh, bit stronger now but emotional mm-hmm. intelligent i am still not you can still work on that no problem it's something that you build that's why we say build your emotional intelligence it's it's not like you cannot do anything about it you can so uh, emotional intelligence is basically what understanding yourself your emotions but also understanding the other person that you're talking to what are they feeling that's empathy right so that's emotional intelligence build more on that i think that will definitely help yeah okay <laughs> so work on that communication skills because some of the reasons why those conversations turn it turn into arguments is basically that anger issues or ineffective communication these are some of the reasons so if if it's not anger issues then it might be ineffective communication so if it's ineffective communication maybe work on that emo- your communication skills okay yeah sure <laughs> all right how about uh, sugar coating like uh, you want to sugar coat words mm-hmm. we are trying to not just words i think sometimes like i often face this issue mm-hmm. even though my points are so right and what uh-huh. i'm saying is but absolutely people... <laughs> up to the point i am not making sense to the other person and at the same time if the like someone else is are trying to uh, you know make their point the, the same thing what i have tried to uh, convey mm-hmm. but in a different way like the way i don't want at all mm-hmm. or the tone i don't <laughs> like at all like i think if there is a point i'm uh, keeping my point straight mm-hmm. you need to understand that why you want to go like this go. <laughs> i don't understand the concept so maybe the this. maybe the problem is with the other person also they cannot seem to understand what you're saying <laughs> maybe that can be there or maybe they don't like the tone you're using you're they using they yeah like straight forward people or uh, some people are like that yes they cannot handle when you're being straight forward yeah so i guess the problem is not with you then it's probably with them <laughs> yeah Yeah. i think straight forward uh, person also comes with a lot of uh, opinions and mm. uh, yeah strong uh, personality because yeah i think a strong person can only uh, pass a straight a uh, judgment about something yes but sometimes you can be very blunt also so you are like that <laughs> 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 yeah so that's when uh, that's when emotional intelligence comes because even though you want to be blunt you think about the other person also what what how will they feel if you say this so yeah so that's when emotional But intelligence comes emotional comes intelligence <laughs> like emotion yeah emotional mm-hmm. intelligence is what every time it i have applied it on me only like i thought mm-hmm. it's for me i need to be emotionally intelligent no I no i never no. thought about it's... the other person because ha 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 though i am blunt i cannot even think of hurting the other person i mm-hmm. i do think <laughs> twice uh, before speaking so that thing i have in me 
Mm-hmm. But I am personally not emotional intelligence. Like I get away with the topics or the people, mm-hmm. or uh, sometimes I may cry where it is not required. Mm-hmm. So that's <laughs> there. I want to improve myself. Like yes. I should not. Yes, yes. Because again, when it comes to emo- emotional intelligence, it's not just about yourself. If the ability to understand and manage your own emotions—that's one. but apart from that you also need to recognize and sh- show some influence on the other person also because you need to understand their emotions and how they are feeling that's what emotional intelligence is okay so you have to build on both of these things understanding yourself and try to understand the other people around you also how are they feeling uh, how will they feel if you say this how will they feel if you say that so yeah it, it goes both ways <laughs> <laughs> that's that's new i thought it's for you only like mm. uh being managing yourself and yeah. yeah for yourself it is required but i i had no clue that it it, it applies on it other. applies to other people yes yeah so emotional intelligence would include uh let's say the ability for you to understand and describe your own feeling okay how am i feeling uh is it rage is it anger because even anger has you know different uh, stages also you can right. see so uh, you have to identify what exactly are you feeling right self confidence and self acceptance this also falls here so ability to accept your mistakes this is also there then feelings of like i said empathy concern for other people that is also a part of emotional intelligence so yeah uh, managing your emotions like you said so yeah. both ways <laughs> all right yeah. so you definitely you can try and build on that okay and yeah, yeah. anything else you'd like to add to that no no <laughs> i do not <laughs> thank you okay great so what are your plans for today or are today's you just at home or actually <clears throat> uh today i want to go to a party reception party and i don't have oh. anything to wear I, oh. I, I mean, I think so. I don't have anything to wear, so I'm just thinking, what should I do? Uh, so I think uh, in the whole afternoon, I'm going to figure out that thing, and uh-huh. uh, in the evening, I'm going to get ready because I, I have to go. It's my closest uh, friend's reception. So, you know what? I think we're in the same predicament. I am also going to a, a party, a birthday party. You can say my best friends. Uh, son is turning one year old so again i am also in a dilemma what to do what to wear <laughs> oh, so wow. yeah we're in the same position same <laughs> yeah uh, even i'll think about that let's see uh, mm-hmm. i think it's that's the problem with the uh, women we tend to say oh i don't have anything to wear but the closet And is full of clothes the closet is full of clothes <laughs> oh my god yes yes you know there was a, a real Mm-hmm. uh or on instagram mm-hmm. the the small girl was like i bought this today oh um, yes I, uh-huh. it was like that is so cute <laughs> i mean it, even uh, even she's a little she was yes, having yes. that mentality i don't yeah. have anything to wear yes, <laughs> i yes. remember that real a, a small girl right she was yeah, saying that so and i think the ha- father was saying something else or was there someone with the girl because i'm I... not sure no i don't think he's not a father he's is someone who is very famous i also knew his name because i have yes. watched a lot of reels uh, mm-hmm. on him mm-hmm. a lot of uh, i have watched oh yes his reels yeah. a lot of his reels okay yeah so he was saying something do you teach them or something like that if yeah. i'm not mistaken <laughs> he was asking uh, her mother that uh, like yes. have you started teaching her already teaching her. Uh, yes. that, that mentality of not having not having clothes in your closet so yeah it was wonderful i enjoyed mm, yeah, very every funny. time watching that film really. quite relatable i mean like even at such a young age she's already thinking okay i don't have clothes to wear i need to go buy yeah. clothes <laughs> first first thing he asked do you have a lot of clothes she said uh, yes yes uh, then then he asked like when did you uh, get this dress she like told oh, yes. him because i had nothing to wear i so, i remember yeah. now i think it's steve harvey if i'm not mistaken right i'm Har- also not yeah, sure steve harvey. but uh, he is because i remember Arabian. because i remember he was asking her the question she said this and then she, he looked at her mother yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I yeah, remember. <laughs> now it beautiful. now it's coming to me. <laughs> it's yes. Beautiful. It's it's funny actually. I think it's only the the girls and the women who are like this. <laughs> we'll, we'll try and figure out what to wear. Small girls too, like little girls. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, closet. The closet is full of clothes, and even I'm not sure what I'm going to wear later. So <laughs> we'll have yeah. to decide on that. <laughs> yeah, let's figure out and let's try to look the best. Yes, <laughs> maybe in the next session we meet, we'll talk about how sure. we came yeah, to the yeah, conclusion. We'll talk about what did you wear and how were you looking? Yes, yes. yes. We got a topic already. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly okay. anyway uh do we still have time should we go on or <clears throat> yeah i think we can wrap it. yeah we can wrap it up so it was nice talking to you again arushi <laughs> same same like we, again we enjoyed talking uh, yes nice like, meeting you too uh, i don't know from uh like uh, from nowhere i got the question in my mind and we kept talking on that particular mm-hmm. So now oh, yeah. you know about emotional intelligence. Emotional Work intelligence on that and build up that also. On others also. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much. I'm going to work thank on you. it and uh, have a great evening. Yes, you too. Yeah, you too. Bye bye. Bye bye.